Slope intercept form is a very common form to see a linear equation in. And that's basically our form that says y equals mx plus b. And again, like our other forms, the title makes sense because in this case we need to have a slope and we need to have this value here which is really our y intercept. So we need the slope and the intercept in order to complete this form. Now, sometimes we're going to be given both, sometimes we won't be given them both. It depends on how we do this. So we may have to solve for the slope, we may have to find the y-intercept, but for right now what we're going to look at is what this form really looks like. So let's start off with a standard looking problem that gives us all the information we really need. So it tells us that the slope is equal to negative 2 and that the y-intercept, which is a point, so remember it's got to be an x and a y, but our x value will always be 0. That's our x value. And that will always be 0 for this y-intercept. Alright, so what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and plug into that y equals mx plus b. Okay, and remember we're really plugging in for those two values right there. So we've got y equals, okay, well what was our slope? Slope was negative 2. And what's our b value? Well, our b value is the value that they gave us here, so that would make it 5. So our equation is y equals negative 2x plus 5, and we now have our solution. That's it. That's it for slope-intercept form. So let's go ahead and look at a slightly different version of how this problem could be given to us. Let's say that they gave us the problem in point-slope form. So they gave it to us in y minus 5 is equal to negative 4 times the quantity of x minus 2. <clears throat> so this is our point slope form and we want to convert this into slope intercept. Alright, so we've got a little bit of work ahead of ourselves. We're going to go ahead and distribute this out. We're going to multiply that to both parts of these. So I still have my y minus 5 and on this side now I've got negative 4x because negative 4 times x, and then negative 4 times a negative 2 means I've got positive 8. Alright, now if we go back to some of the things we've talked about in the past, how do I move that negative 5? We go ahead and add 5 to balance this, and we're going to find its like term, which would be the 8. We're going to go ahead and add these together. So what happens with these ones is we get our 0. That's always our goal. So we get y equals negative 4x and then 8 plus 5 which is 13 and now we have converted from and let's just remind you this is called our what point slope because they gave us a point and slope and we just changed that into our slope intercept so starting with point slope, changing the slope intercept, there's two of the forms for a standard linear equation.